Fox finally spoke out publicly about the bong photo seen around the world. Here's what he told Matt Lauer on the Today Show. We're just celebrating, honestly. It was just a small group and we were just sitting around celebrating. You know, I, I have to ask you, were you smoking pot? It was a bad mistake. I mean, we all know what, what, you, know, what you and I are talking about. It's a stupid mistake, you know, a bad judgment. Should marijuana be legalized? We'll debate the pros and cons right now. In the anti-legalization camp is actor Stephen Baldwin. And on the pro side is congressman from Texas, Ron Paul. He was a presidential candidate, and Paul has sponsored hemp-related legislation. Gentlemen, round one. Okay, what's your reaction to the hoo-ha over the Phelps uh, photo? Ron? Oh, I'm sorry, over the what? Over the photo, the, the Michael Phelps photo. What was your reaction to all of that? What happened with Michael Phelps? I mean, he basically lost a lot of oh, his endorsements. Oh, on Phelps. Well, well, the whole thing, is, I think, is a mess. It's outrageous. I think we're getting carried away with the whole war on drugs. That's how, how silly the whole thing gets. Drugs are very dangerous, but uh, there's a lot of things that's very dangerous. The question is, is, who should regulate danger? Should we assume responsibility for ourselves, or should the government take care of us? And I don't believe in the nanny state. If you do have regulations and laws, they should be at the state level, not at the federal level. We didn't even have a federal law up until 1937, and here we are. We have spent hundreds of billions of dollars in a very unsuccessful attempt to regulate drugs, and you have all these weird examples. Mm -hmm. That's one example you mentioned but what about a, a sick person dying with cancer goes out and uses marijuana with when it was legalized in a particular state like california and the feds come in and arrest them i mean there's so much violation yes. there of common decency and the constitution and it makes no sense the drug war is a total failure and the federal drug war ought to be re revisited and for the most part gotten rid of okay stephen baldwin hi you're against legalizing Enjoy. marijuana why well, it's a little bit ironic. I could see why Jimmy wanted to rush out of there so quickly. Uh, <laughs> here you're looking at an actor that has starred in two uh, very popular marijuana films, uh, Half Baked and Biodome. And, uh, you know, here I am uh, bringing a faith based conservative perspective to this issue. And, you know, obviously, Joy, there's a lot of common sense that needs to be uh, included in this conversation. It's a very simple reality. Marijuana leads to doing worse things. That's just a fact. I don't care what anybody says, what the debate is. When you smoke marijuana at a young age, it'll usually lead to alcohol abuse and harder drugs. So right there, I mean, that's one reason why uh, it should not be legalized. We've heard that for years, that it's a gateway drug. What do you say to that, Congressman Paul? Well, I think that's silly. Probably the most addicted drug in the country and in the world is nicotine. And uh, nobody talks about nicotine being a gateway drug. So there's no sense to that. And besides, it's not nearly as addictive as alcohol. So if, if you're a consistent person and you think the government should be regulating personal behavior, you have to be for prohibition of alcohol. And when you look back and throughout history and what happened to that, that was a total disaster. It created the Al Capones. And right now today, there there's so much violence today, not because people use drugs, but because they're illegal. That's why, you know the people who benefit the most by all these laws? These are the drug cartels. They lobby to keep these laws in place because they can't exist without them. They're, you don't have the alcohol Capones now because you don't have prohibition of alcohol. Prohibition is what is bad. And this does not mean we endorse personal behavior that is is not beneficial it just means who regulates personal behavior and it shouldn't be the state it has there's no benefits to it it's just like uh, regulating church behavior okay. or religious behavior of any sort so I see no right. purpose in, in doing this okay Stephen we'll get back to you when we return okay more Baldwin versus Paul Okay, we're back. Stephen, let me ask you a question. Uh, Congressman Paul brought up the uh, whole idea of medical marijuana. What, what is your response to that? People have glaucoma, they're nauseous from uh, anti-cancer drugs. What do you say to, to that? Well, again, you know, there, there is, you know, not a whole lot of research to back up the fact that there aren't alternatives even to that. There's lots of pain pain relieving practices that people can study so uh, I, I must say that to be honest with you joy when in fact there are people for those reasons that do have success with it then if prescribed under a controlled situation then yes obviously that makes a lot of sense but back to to mister paul's statement about you know the addictive 
uh, aspects of smoking cigarettes. Obviously, if I smoke a cigarette, I'm not going to get in my vehicle and be impaired, potentially, to damage somebody else's life. If we legalize marijuana, there's no question that the number of deaths related to people being impaired under the influence of marijuana is going to increase. The question is, just to be able to tax it, is it worth it? That's the okay. question. Rob, what do you say to that? Well, I, I understand there's a few people who smoke marijuana already. And how many times have you seen somebody arrested for driving under the influence of marijuana? I mean, I've never even heard of it. Driving under the influence of alcohol, that is dangerous. But people shouldn't do that, and they should be responsible. But they, you can't get more people smoking marijuana. It's just that what, what is so bad is the war on marijuana, putting people in prison. They can be caught using drugs for the third time, never committing a violent act and putting them in prison for life and yet rapists and murderers can get out and if you think of all that expenses you're talking about hundreds of billions of dollars that get spent on this and people usually who get sent to prison for nonviolent drug use come out as violent criminals so it makes no sense at all to pursue this method because marijuana is not going to increase car accidents let me tell but you I would, that I would... is not the case I would think that it's hard to detect if you're high on marijuana when you're pulled over by the police. There's no breathalyzer test. So how would we know what effect it has? Well, well there could, that, that, there, that's... There, there, go ahead, Ron. Go ahead, Mr. Paul. Go ahead, Ron. Well, that, that's a, that's a possi possibility, but even under today's circumstances, uh, nobody gets arrested for it. And uh, the alcohol is the real culprit and the real problem, and yet we have people in Washington, D.C.'s, who drink a lot of alcohol, let me tell you, because of political reasons, they're scared to death to even to vote to legalize the growing of hemp. Hemp has nothing to do with smoking marijuana. And because of this obsession on the drug war, we can't grow hemp in this country. We send the hemp growing up to Canada, then we buy the products that we make from hemp. So we export our jobs to Canada. Hemp is a good produ product that we prohibit from being used. And it was legal up until even after World War II, we were allowed to raise hemp in this country. This is how, how hysterical this war on drugs has gotten. So the soon as we come to this realization, someday, actually I'm optimistic this. I think this country is going to wake up like they did in the 30s and say, hey, you know, prohibition didn't work. Alcohol is a horror. It's made things worse. It's caused a lot of crime and a lot of violence. It's about time we just do this. Get rid of the prohibition. Let the regulation go back to the state. Regulate it like alcohol. And with the real regulation come from the individual and also from the family and the parents and the community. That's what prevents drug use, not some federal thug coming in with guns and arresting some kid and throwing him in prison for life. That makes no sense whatsoever. Are you saying that there are a lot of alcohol? Alcoholics in Congress? Is that what I heard you say? No, no, I didn't say that. I said there's a lot of. I said I said there's a lot of people in Congress who drink a lot of alcohol. Let me ask you something. And they and they won't and they won't vote to legalize the question. They won't even let us write. They won't even let us raise hemp because they're afraid of the yeah. political consequence. Is there I any drug question. you would not legalize? Ron, I just want one more question to Ron, to Congressman. Is there any drug you would not... Is the, do you want to legalize all drugs, heroin included? Well, I want to go back to a previous time prior to 1937 when the states did the regulating. Uh -huh. And I don't, I, don't advocate, I don't advocate giving marijuana to 10-year-olds walking in the store. But at 10, you know, the kids now can get more marijuana with all these laws easier than they can get alcohol. So the states have every right to regulate and okay. legalize and We're allow running out people of, to use these things. We're running out of time. Stephen, I'm going to give you the last word before we go. I'm just curious, uh, Joy, do you think that there's a lot of marijuana smoking Ron Paul supporters? I'm just, I just, I'm just wondering. Um, yeah, have, you, but... have you ever smoked a joint, Ron? <laughs> Congressman Paul, have you ever smoked a joint? You know, this is the truth, and most people believe what I say. I have never seen anybody smoke marijuana, and I have never, never I been in, go. In, in the same room with it. Okay, thank you very much, you guys. Go to, to me. To me, it's the issue of freedom <laughs> of King. choice. To comment about this show or any other. Larry, thanks for letting me sit in for you. I had a great time. We'll see you back here.